Hello everyone. Now in this lecture we will study about the ramjet engine. In the last lecture I explained about the turboprop and turbofan. Now in this lecture we will study about the ramjet engine. Let's start. Ramjet engine or aerothermodynamic duct that is called athodide or what we call is lorin tube or flying stove pipe all these are the name for ramjet engine this was first invented and patented by rene lorin ramjet is a steady combustion or continuous flow engine it has the simplest construction of any propulsion engine it is simple in construction because in this case or in ramjet engine no turbine is there no compressor is there that's why it is simple in construction very high pressure ratio of about 8 to 10 by ram compression can be achieved without a mechanical compressor a deacceleration of air from mach number 3 that means at supersonic speed so from the mach number 3 at diffuser inlet to the mach number 0.3 in combustion chamber would cause pressure ratio of more than 30 the ram pressure rise can be achieved in diffuser now let's see the construction of ramjet engine the engine consists of inlet section combustion chamber and discharge nozzle section the inlet section consists of two diffuser first one is supersonic diffuser then subsonic diffuser section this one is supersonic diffuser section and this one is the subsonic diffuser section this one is the combustion chamber and you see here this one is the discharge nozzle section so the air inlet or the speed of air will enter into the ramjet engine at supersonic speed okay you know very well what is the supersonic what is subsonic and what is sonic all these things i have explained in my previous chapters it depends upon the mach number and mach number is the ratio of object speed to the speed of sound okay so let's see both supersonic and subsonic diffuser convert the kinetic energy of the entering air into the pressure rise this energy transformation is called the ram effect and pressure rise is called the ram pressure the air enters the engine with a supersonic speed which must be reduced to a subsonic value this is necessary to prevent the blow out of the flame in the combustion chamber the cycle pressure ratio of a ramjet engine depends upon its flight velocity the higher the flight velocity the larger is the ram pressure and consequently larger will be the thrust a ramjet having fixed geometry is designed for a specific mach number and altitude ramjet engine is not self propelling at zero flight velocity okay it is not self propelling so the ramjet must be boosted up to a speed of over 300 km per hour by a suitable means such as turbojet or a rocket after the ramjet is boosted the velocity of air entering the diffuser is decreased and there is a increase in pressure this creates a pressure barrier at the end of the diffuser the fuel that is sprayed into the combustion chamber mixed with air and ignited by means of a spark plug the expansion of the gases towards the diffuser entrance is restricted by the pressure barrier at the end of a diffuser and so the gases are constrained to expand through the exit of nozzle with high velocity as the ramjet engine has no turbine the temperature of the gases of combustion is not limited to a relatively low value as in turbojet engine air fuel of around 15 ratio 1 are used 
this produced exhaust temperature in the range of 3200 degree celsius to 3700 degree celsius ramjet engine must be either launched from an airplane in flight or be given an initial velocity by some auxiliary means such as launching rockets since ramjet engine is an air breathing engine its maximum altitude is limited it has a limited use in the high subsonic speed range its best performance capabilities however are in supersonic speed range of mach number between 2 to 5 okay so let's see what are the advantages it does not have any moving parts that's why it does not require any maintenance maximum temperature is allowed up to 2000 degree celsius the specific fuel consumption is better than the other gas turbine power plant at high speed and high altitude there seems to be no upper limit to the flight speed of the ramjet engine let's see there are some disadvantage the takeoff thrust is zero due to higher speed higher speed of air the combustion chamber requires flame holder to stabilize the combustion at high temperature dissociation of products of combustion occurs which will reduce the efficiency of the plant if not recovered in nozzle during the expansion so let's see there are some application of ramjet engine it is widely used in high speed aircraft and missiles subsonic ramjet are used in target weapons in conjunction with turbojet for rockets for getting starting torque so friend this is the advantage disadvantage and application of ramjet engine now in this lecture we have studied about the introduction of ramjet engine in the next lecture i am going to start new chapter that is impact of jet on flat plate after that we will study about the impact of jet on a curved plate thanks for watching this video and have a good day bye bye